People actually want Brie Larson to be Samus. Digital media outlets. Okay. I'm not surprised. Um, I guarantee those same people um, don't know Samus. <laughs> um, and here's the thing. I'm not like a Samus expert. Oh, we need to cue the intro. Sorry. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DNA Crows. I'm Andrew, your host, The Comic Crow. And this is Dean with the point that I cut him off at. Yep. This is fucking rude. Yeah, very um, rude. You're a piece of shit. Sorry. He's not. Oh, remember, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now you can go. Um, now I don't want them to. No, you don't even have to. <laughs> no, don't listen to him. <laughs> no, please do. Um, Why are you always changing your mind? You're going to confuse the viewer. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah the people that want her to play samus probably don't know a lot about samus i'm not a samus expert honestly it was never like my favorite um game yeah um but i definitely know brie larson isn't the right fit you know what i mean but these are people that just think oh it's a popular female character um who's a strong woman um I'm think sorry, about it's that. Just not Brie Larson. Yeah, there's a there's quite a few. Um, Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey strong. I still wouldn't cast her. Um, honestly, I'd probably um, like a Scandinavian just because of the height. That's the, the blonde thing. hair. You know, that's the thing. Like I, I, this is no disrespect to her acting potential because I think she's a good actress. It, it's all about the fact that she just does not have the stature to play these roles. But she is just so obsessed with being a strong female character. Nee, nee. Yeah. Like, um, how much of Samus <laughs> would actually be in that character? I, it's it's going to be Captain Marvel 2.0. She's going to play it the exact same way. I, I'm just... That's not Samus. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but anyways, this is an article by uh, Nintendo It's the enthusiast. exact same character from Community 2, honestly. <laughs> it's the same character. It's the same character. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I knew they were the same person because we've talked about that. Yeah. That's the same character. Uh, look, just I, one has superpowers. This is... Okay, let's just go over what the article is from. It is by a Nintendo enthusiast, Metroid Movie, Why Brie Larson Would Be the Perfect Sam Zarin. Okay, so obviously we're off to a bad start. Um, because life <laughs> sucks, and I don't want this movie to be good. Uh, Brie Larson has been quite the topic ever since she hit the mainstream success by nabbing the role of Captain Danvers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, again, look, Brie Larson started it. <laughs> uh, no, like I'm just confused. Uh, first, what brought me to? Okay, we're not yeah. there yet. Okay, look, <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing, right? Captain Marvel is largely successful because it's riding off the coattails of Endgame by Marvel coming out and stating repeatedly, "You had to see this movie." Um, in order to understand anything. And like lightweight, false advertising. You know, <laughs> big time. And, and, and again, um, yeah. um, again, I haven't even started it. Free Larson started it. <laughs> Once again, uh, a long video. <laughs> First what brought me to this topic, well, Brie Larson herself has openly talked about wanting to star Sam Sarah in a Metroid movie. I don't care. <laughs> like, you know, she's also talked about some other shit that people just absolutely hate. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, she talks nasty about the fans of Samus, like the, the same fans. Did she? That, Did well, I miss well, this? Not here. Let me be very clear. The way she talks about fans, like you know, straight white males and all that other crap. Mm -hmm. Look, those same fans are going to want to yeah, watch yeah, they're, they're, the Samus. They're, they're the ones they, who play, they play they, fucking they're Metroid the ones Prime. Who can play <laughs> You know, what, I don't care what a straight white male has to say about this movie. It's not, it's not made for you. Like, and if you go and say yeah. that again, again, if you say that about Samus, uh, a go, Metroid go. Prime movie, or, or I'd say Metroid who, movie, who, like who's, I love Metroid who else Prime. is going to actually want to see that movie? You're not like you're not going to pick up a lot of. I, look, I brought my girlfriend to go see Captain Marvel. She I'm fell so tired of doing this. I'm just, I'm just, this I, 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 I know, I know. I'm just saying again. She went to go see the movie. She fell asleep. I stayed up during it. I thought it was just okay i really wouldn't go see it again um it just just uh, what, whatever like and again most of the reason why i like that movie is samuel L. jackson but neither here nor there oh the villain was good. um that, that wasn't okay. actually the villain oh yeah, yeah the squirrel guy yeah yeah he was pretty fun oh he was great uh aside from that <laughs> this is not funny the the movie's not made for straight white males the straight white males are the ones that made the movie <laughs> 
It's not made for them, it's made <laughs> by them! <laughs> Aside from that, Nintendo has shown interest in testing out the movie and TV waters again with its IP. Thus, here we are. Get somebody else. Jeez, don't 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 even get somebody. Well Tiger known. Woods is uh, ex-wife. <laughs> Yo, like I mean, dead serious. I'm just Tall. saying, don't get a famous, well-known actor. Get 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 an unknown actress, and I, I think that you'd be better and off. You'd doing see like that. a whole new world. <sighs> Just saying. You know, like, like they, Aladdin. They, they, they That's an do Aladdin it. reference. Give you that. Uh, Captain Marvel was arguably Brie Larson's first foray into the spotlight. It was a bad one. Uh, I even say though she that. won the Academy Award for Best Actress in 2015. Yeah, that's room. why I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Most nerds knew her from Scott Pilgrim fame, too. She had a very small role in that movie. Um, uh, but it's okay, actually. I she, would she say did most find most of them knew she did find in that movie. Community. Yeah, actually, that that's probably... But that's, I don't think that gets mentioned here. Um, so it was the first time a lot of people saw Brie Larson act. I'll be honest, I don't think Captain Marvel is a great first impression for the actor. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Okay, so then what... Good for you. That then, That's... A, I, I respect this person. Well, then that's, why that, do you think that they should take on... A, let's, like a, <laughs> let's figure out. Um, so it was the first time, blah, 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 blah. I don't think Captain Marvel, blah, blah, blah. I think she's a fantastic actor. I said the same thing. I think she's she, she can do a good act. It, she she does a good job. I just don't think that the role is for her. I don't act like I don't think she's bad. I think that she is somewhere between mediocre and um, a little better than mediocre. Well, like it, it's hard for me to put my finger on, but there was something off putting about Captain Marvel's writing and line delivery that just didn't jive with me. I agree. Yeah, totally. We've actually talked about that. I don't put the blame on her. That writing um, for her character was garbage. To add to that, despite being the main protagonist, I felt like I barely knew who Carol Danvers was after watching the movie. Well, she didn't even know who she was. She had amnesia. That was a terrible decision. It was. But my problem is... How are you supposed to know the character? Brie Larson know was fully in support of the way that she was playing that movie. Don't, don't tell me she didn't have some control in how she was acting in it. She knew what she was doing, and she thought that that's what a strong female character looked like. It's not. Go, go watch Wonder Woman for fuck's sake. Uh, Wonder Woman's a much better movie. Fuck. I, I, God damn it. They put, Actually, if they gave um, uh, Gal Gadot a, a blonde wig. I'd, I'd rather see her at San Francisco. I rewatched Wonder That's Woman. That's terrible, but. Still. I rewatched Wonder Woman. I fucking love that movie. It's good. It's not as great. The as only I problem I have with the movie is the very end. I think when Eris dies and everybody is still fighting, that would have been a much stronger statement. But they 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 chickened out. It was terrible. Yeah, um, that's the only issue. There's actually I have with the a movie. couple problems, but they're like more like actual like that's that's that that that. that. That's dumb. That well, I, I I like the whole. He, you could not get to England within that amount of time. I think that, that <laughs> aside, um, the guy that they got as the sniper never even took a shot, and like you wasted a bunch of time with this character. Yeah. Okay. That's. <laughs> that was, but that, that's such got, a waste again, of time. Yeah, I, I agree. hate that. Um, to add to that, despite being the main protagonist, I felt like I barely knew. Blah blah blah. Lucky for me, Captain Marvel wasn't there. I first wasn't where I first got to see uh, Larson's acting chops. Aside from seeing her small role in Scott Pilgrim, I saw her jaw dropping performance in Room. I never saw Room. I'm so sorry. I don't uh, know. In the film, Larson played a kidnapped victim being held captive in a shed with Jesus. her son. Don't get me wrong. I she plays a better victim than she does a hero. Well, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. No, she's just small and mousy. It's oh, so small and mousy people are victims. I mean, it's more believable than her being like the strongest superhero Yo, ever. Get it straight. Anybody can be. <laughs> anybody can be a victim. Yeah, you just don't. It, no, I. I mean, in general, she just doesn't exude a level of power. There, there's are just... you saying she's unbelievable? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, okay, we saw Larson's character in complete desperation, solitude. Okay, he's going on about the room. However, after seeing Larson in that role, it's easy to imagine her as Samus. Why? Why? Metroid is all about isolation and Samus forcing her way through treacherous places as a one-woman army. Okay, but that doesn't sound like that's what happened. It sounded like she was a victim. Yeah, I... Metroid, honestly... I mean, I guess if he, I guess if his interpretation is Samus is going to be... <laughs> Uh, oh god terrified out of her mind Yo, and it was like to... a nintendo game they don't do that <laughs> they don't the, the characters Plain don't Samus get... would require the same expertise as larson used in the room no it would not yo did we <laughs>
<laughs> Fuck. Damn. I gotta find that too. Uh, Metroid is one of Nintendo's greediest franchises, and I would love to see them uh, lean into a live action depiction. It seems now more than ever Nintendo is open to associating its brand with more mature content. Do I ever so, see any of this? So is that the type of mature? Like, I need to know. Um, it's Nintendo. Look, yeah. I don't. I don't think this person actually. They didn't actually give any reasons. They just said, "Yo, there was this movie." No, I mean, um, I, I think their interpretation of what Metroid is is wrong. Look, I I get what he's going through. Like when he's when he talks about that performance with that's not Samus though. Samus isn't a weak character. She's, yeah, Samus isn't a victim. In, in fact, there though was you get victimized. I by forget Samus, the bitch. I, I, I forget the game, but I was watching this review of it, and mm-hmm. it's basically one where Samus literally lacks all confidence, and people hated it. Like, look, you need a strong Maybe person to Maybe that's the only that game role. they played. They were like, yo, I could see it. And they're, like, missing out like, on all the other Samus games. And, and again, look, there is all the other stuff with Samus. Sorry, with Samus. Oh, my gosh. I'm already starting to associate the two. Oh, well, I guess it's uh, it's already no. a done deal. Oh, um, the issue is Brie Larson, I don't think, is a good magnet for the character either. Yeah, she's famous. I think you'd bet you're way better off getting an unknown person who just fits the damn role better. Yo, I'm being dead serious. A Scandi- just a Scandinavian person. Because Tall, blonde, blam. Well, here's the other thing. We know Disney got involved with the Rotten Tomatoes to hide the whole, you know, do you want to see this movie shit? Nintendo don't have that kind of money. Like, people are going to... Uh, I mean, not... I they, mean, they, they have the money to do that. They don't have the Disney money. They don't have Disney money. However, they could. They would. They could have the money to do that. I mean, maybe, but why would you? I mean, I just. It seems like such a bad choice. Here's yeah, the thing. Well, I mean, she does I think not. Everybody plans on doing that every time they cast Brie video- Larson. Yeah, like, oh my gosh! But but video game movies are very difficult to get right. Right? They face a whole bunch of hurdles. You really need the fans behind it. And I just don't Yo, think the fans would get funny. behind wait, 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 her because wait, wait. she how? just doesn't think very highly of her fans. No, well, um, well, let me rephrase. Well, those people aren't actually fans. Not, not her like, fans. Let's be honest. Fans of the franchises yeah. she's trying to get involved in. Comic book fans, video game fans. Well, yeah, but those are all uh, fucking sexist white men. I mean, that's... I don't care that, that about feel, what they that, have to that, say about my movies. It's that, not for them! That feels like the mentality she would be bringing. And um, look... If, you know, if that's what you're bringing into the role, it's a lot of extra baggage. I don't think you'll have fans get behind you. Well, I think you, it, you from the start, though, it'd be hard, right? Because there's already, like, the white fan thing and, like, yo, <laughs> who owned the Nintendo and was playing Samus? The Japanese and white people. <laughs> that's it. And the Japanese are in Japan. I I'll, <laughs> like, Look, I'll just say this, right? I don't think the person who wrote this article was really all that off base there with a lot of the things that they were saying. I didn't um, really understand any of the reasons. Well, it seems like they just thought that the way that she played a victim who was isolated and trapped. Yo, I could... I could... I could stay in that closet for like two days <laughs> and be gonna, like, yo, I guess I'm Samus now. This, this the is, world's a scary yeah, place. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, he, he's very clear about the way he feels about Captain Marvel. I feel the exact same way. So yeah. I think they want to see someone who is going to be a one-woman army fighting against all those things and just dealing with the horror elements that will be coming up. So you're up. telling me that that character <laughs> that he described isn't a one-woman army. No more like a one woman victim. <laughs> because that's what he described. I know it is, right? I just <laughs> like I just don't understand. Um I, I don't either. I think he's just looking at the horror elements of room and he thinks that Joe, but that's like not even the same type of category. I know it Well, I mean they could do Metroid as a whole horror movie. Yeah, well they yeah, but like that's t- like I just, All right. I, uh, tell us what you think. I, no, I, I look. I'm not a fan of her getting the role. I think that is a terrible casting. I think that you're better off getting an unknown character that will well, actually fit the role better. Well, maybe you could get a known character and uh, do an who unknown. Do you think unknown character, lower budget? Well, I think well, it would be perfect. But, I mean, but the conversation doesn't end here. Do you think there's a better choice? Do you guys know anybody? We'd love to hear what you have to say about that. He wouldn't. He thinks that there should just be an unknown person. And maybe they should be. Um, But he's, like, not even letting you guys talk about it. And I've always said, tell us what you think. And he's just like, no. Unknown character. 
kind of fucked up. Or giving our opinion, man. Just what? say Ronda Rousey. I know you want to say Ronda no, Rousey. No, I already said it's Ronda a, Rousey wouldn't I, I work. Mean, She's strong. Uh, Tiger Woods' wife. Yo. <laughs> she just acting shows up with a golf club. Acting lessons. Just shows up with a golf club. <laughs> no, no, I'm just telling you. She's like tall and blonde. Acting lessons. <laughs> she goes to do the missile and She's all of like, a sudden it's a golf not, ball just pinging out. Not to be mean. She's not like not super pretty in the face. Um, <laughs> and like Samus has like a nice face. Yeah.